Sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm here with another game in my 1980 Pirates career uh, replay. However, we are in 1981 at this point, and um, we are taking on the uh, Montreal Expos in this game. Their starter today will be Steve Rogers, who comes into the game with a 7-1 record and a 91 earned run average. And we will be sending up Jim Bibby, who is 4-2 with a 178 earned run average. As you can see, the Pirates not doing well in this 1981 season. Um, we are 19-21 and in 10 games behind the Cubs. And we also happen to be five games behind the Expos, who are in second place. So, uh, with that having been said, let's get on with the game. And uh, just a quick sanity check of the lineups. And it looks like everything is in order on our end. So, I will say start the game. Probably going to have to adjust the appearance or the uh, camera angle or the camera that we're using. Yes, we will have to do that. Do not like that. So we're going to go to view and we're going to go to pitch camera view and we're going to go home plate camera. I think that's what we want. And um, let me see here. Initial camera view. No, I wanted. I want home plate camera. There we go. All right. So that's the view I want. All righty then. Uh, let's see if we can. Yeah. Let me put myself right here. I think this is the least obtrusive place. Um, and then we will. Swing away. We're up. Willie Wilson is leading off. And we are, this is supposed to be uh, Olympic Stadium. I think this is supposed to be Olympic Stadium. However, that was an indoor park and doesn't really look like it is, but you got to make do with what you got. So. There's one out. We're going to swing away with Larry Milborn. Steve Rogers, of course, was quite good. And he strikes out Milborn, and we're going with Lee Lacey at the plate. And Lee Lacey looks like he got a base hit. All right, so let's see. Uh, two down, two down, and we got Richie Hebner up. And that's going to be an out at first, and that's the end of the first inning for us. We go to the bottom of the inning. We got Jim Bibby out there, Tony Phillips up at the plate. And now, again, this is out of the park baseball, so the game makes its own trades. So, Tony Phillips, if you don't recall him ever being on the Expos, he may not have been, but in this version of the game, he is. And that brings up Andre Dawson. Now, we know Andre Dawson was, and he's trying to steal. I knew he was going. Did we get him? Yes. I think we did. Yes, we did. So now there's two down for them, and they have Tim Raines up. Rock Raines, and I will watch him. I suspected Phillips might go, but I still didn't watch him. And Reigns is retired, and we go to the top of the second. And Ken Phelps is up. 
against the righty Rogers, and that is a nice hit, but it's no, it's going to be a fly out to left, and that brings up Al Cowens. And again, you're same thing with the Pirates. You're going to notice there are a lot of Pirates who were never on the Pirates. Same deal. Um, and I'm not the general manager of the team. I am just the manager. So we have a general manager who makes all the trades and acquires all the talent that we have or lack thereof. And that is a fly out that ends our second inning. We go to the bottom of the second with Ellis Valentine. And Ellis Valentine is going to be safe. I'm not sure if I should watch him. I'm going to say I'm not going to. And we're going to pitch to Gary Carter. And Gary Carter is going to hit into a double play. Thank you very much. And that brings up, uh, I forgot. I did not see who it was, but. And we have Rick Dempsey up at the plate. And he's out. So we're in a 0-0 game here, top of the third. Steve Rogers pitching to Jim Bibby. And that's going to be a base hit for Jim Bibby, the pitcher, getting a base hit. Nice. Um, that brings up Willie Wilson. And Willie Wilson, is he going to beat it out? Yes, he beats it out. So we've got two on with only one out. And that brings to the plate Larry Milborn. And he is going to hit in, no, not a double play. So there is only two outs now with runners at the corners. And we have Lee Lacey. Hoping he can knock a run in. He does not. He grounds out to shortstop, and we're retired. And here we go to the bottom of the third. Dan Briggs is up against Jim Bibby. And he is going to be out. Jim Bibby working the corners, working them well. And that's going to be a fly out to center. There's two down for the Expos. And that brings up Rogers himself. And he is going to ground out to third. So the Expos are retired, and we are still in a scoreless tie in the top of the fourth inning with Richie Hebner up. And Richie Hebner is out. Up steps Ken Phelps. Ken Phelps is going to fly out to center on a great play by Andre the Hawk Dawson. And now Al Cowens is at the plate. He's at the dish and he gets a single right up the middle. We've got a man on, but with two down. And up steps Tim Foley. Tim Foley's going to get a base hit. So we got a little thing going here. I'm going to say no, we got two outs. Got a little thing going, but we got Dempsey at the plate. And Dempsey with the runners moving, and that's going to be an error. We have the bases loaded, but I'm suspecting maybe Bibby's up right now. Yes, he is. He got a base hit last time, though. But there was no way I was taking him out of the game right then. So we still are in a scoreless tie in the bottom of the floor. And he is going to be out. Um, you can see Bibby still has plenty of gas in the tank, so no way was I taking him out, even though there was a possibility we would have had a better chance at getting a run if he hadn't had to hit. And that is going to be a ground out, and the Expos are retired. We go to the top of the fifth. Top of the fifth. Roger's still out there, although we are wearing Rogers down. Looks like he's his bar is I mean it's he's still got plenty left, but Willie Wilson is gonna face him. And Willie Wilson hits it up the middle. 
Uh, let's try to steal and see what happens. And there go. No, he went back. He couldn't get a lead. So he's at first. No outs. Milbourne out. And Milbourne, again, the Hawk makes another great play in center field. So there's one down. Lee Lacey is up. Lee Lacey is lacing it down the right field line. I'm going to send Wilson an extra base. I think with Wilson, it's worth it. And now we do have runners at the corners with one out and Hebner up. And Hebner is going to fly to shallow right, and that won't get... No, it will. It will score the run. Okay, good. We've got a one nothing lead. One nothing lead with Phelps up. And let's see if he can... Homer, no, he strikes out. So we did get a run in. And it's one nothing, and that may be all we're going to get for Bibby. So hopefully he can shut this Expo team down. They are the second place team. They do have some good players. And then they do have some people like Dan Briggs or whatever his name is. So I don't know. But this is Gary Carter. Gary Carter is out. That's two down. And up steps Tim Wall. Tim Wallach is going to hit the ball just over the second baseman's head for a base hit. And Dan, here's Dan Briggs. And he's going to be out as the second baseman takes the ball himself and runs it to second. So we are in the top of the sixth. We've got the slim one nothing lead. Got Al Cowens up. And he's going to be out. You got Tim Foley up, and he strikes out. And that brings up Rick Dempsey, and if he gets out, the next inning will be Bibby. We'll have a decision, but he gets a base hit. So now the decision, there is really no decision. I don't have anybody warming up, so we're going to just let Bibby hit, and we're going to see what happens if he strikes out. So we're going to the bottom of the sixth. And Bibby still is really, I mean, he's got a lot in the tank for this being the sixth inning. And that is going to be not an out. No, it's a base hit. Steve Rogers up. I'm going to pitch to Rogers. He's trying to bunt, obviously. And I think he's out on the strikeout attempted bunt. And uh, uh, that brings up Tony Phillips. And Tony Phillips hits one right to the wall. That's going to be trouble. And, uh, yeah, runners at second and third with one down. Going to hope for something big here, Andre Dawson. Well, yeah, I don't know if you really should be doing that. But he's going to fly out to right. But we can get it in immediately. And it's going to be out at the plate. Unbelievable. That was a great strike. And we got him. It's still one nothing with Willie Wilson at the plate. This is unbelievable that we're holding this one nothing lead. And he is going to be out. There's one down. That brings up. Uh, I forget who, but he's going to ground out, and that's two down. And Lee Lacey at the plate with two down and nobody on. And a quick relay by the shortstop makes the play. And we're in the bottom of the seventh, where really Jim Bibby has a lot still left in the tank. I'm going to let him go to diff distance, maybe, because uh, right now he's... Did he get him? Yeah, he did. Right now he is just pitching lights out. And we only have one run, and it looks like that's all we're going to get. So... You got Gary Carter at the plate. And that's going to be a pop-up to the first baseman or second baseman. I don't know. But anyway, somebody did, and that's the point. And now we got Hebner up against Rogers. It's going to be a shame if Rogers loses a game like this, one nothing. But, you know, I mean, 
I'm not going to complain. That's a deep fly to, to left field for the first out with Phelps at the plate. And he walks. So he's aboard. Al Cowan's up. And Al Cowan's is going to hit into a double play. And we're going to the bottom of the eighth. We're almost there. We're almost in the home stretch. And Bibby still has enough in the in the tank to at least get this inning. And he does. Runners out. And that brings up Dan Briggs. Dan Briggs is going to get a base hit. See, this is how it happens. You make fun of a guy on the other team, and then he's the one that ends up hurting you. And here's Brad Mills, their third baseman. And we hit Brad Mills. Not a good idea. Two on, one out. Dave Falcone is the pinch hitter. And he gets a base hit that's probably going to score a run. No, no, it was in time. They tried to stretch it again. Oh, these outfielders for the Pirates are just brutal. You do not run on them. And that's a strikeout that's going to end the inning. And so with another great assist from the outfield, Bibby is still winning one nothing, with Tim Foley up. I think I still got to get somebody up in the bullpen if even the closer Enrique Romo. And uh, with Foley up. And he is going to be out. I think that'll bring up Dempsey. It does. And Dempsey is going to be out. So we're going to let Bibby hit because there's nobody on and two outs. That's not really uh, a rally situation. And he is going to fly out to right. But now if he can get us through the ninth inning, and it looks like by his bar he should be able to. But he allows a base hit, and now I'm going to go get him. I'm not even going to play around anymore. We're going to go get um, Enrique Romo and bring him in. He is ready. And we're going to pitch. And that's going to be a deep fly, it looks like. To right field, there is one down with a runner at first base and Ellis Valentine up. And he's going to hit one right to the um, right down into the right field corner. And is he going to? I can't believe these outfield assists. Unbelievable. We have gunned down three guys at the plate on kamikaze missions, basically. I mean, one of them might have been a reasonable attempt by the Expos, but at least two of them were foolhardy. And that's going to be a strikeout, and we're going to win the game one nothing because, and here's the Pirates bridle the Expos one nothing with the help of three amazing outfield assists. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's good stuff. So Bibby went eight. He allowed eight hits and zero earned runs, and Romo got the save with one inning, one hit allowed, no earned runs. Rogers gets the loss, but he went seven and a third and he allowed nine hits and only one earned run so um yeah and uh data yeah, let's see first first time three outfield assists yes it was the first and maybe the only time you're going to see that happen um but yeah i mean that moves us up one from last place to 20 and 21 on the season and uh that is going to be it for me sportsman z bob zolke signing off